What's up, guys? All right, happy Monday. Uh, here's your lesson today. We're going to talk about this thing called molarity. All right, so this is called concentration, basically. And we so we need to be able to explain uh, information about a solution, okay? And how that works is we say, like, okay, well, let's talk about this thing called molarity. Mole is a term that we use in this instance for molarity because it talks about the number of molecules in water, right? So what is a solution? We talked about this. So you get the solute, which is the solid, dissolves in the solvent, and you have a solution. But when you dissolve this, you have, you have molecules that are floating around, okay? Now, concentration is a measure of how many molecules there are, basically, in that water. So the more I add, obviously, the more there is floating around, and that's what we call molarity. So molarity is an expression of measuring concentration, all right? So we talk about it in terms per liter, all right? So if you look at this beakers down here, let's hide this. If I had a one molar solution of HCl, basically what I'm saying is that you got 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay, for every one liter. Alrighty. So you just would have a bunch of molecules here flowing around. All right. So 6.02, you know, HCl. But if I had 12, that would mean I would have 12 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, that's the mole number. Remember, this is the mole, the standard. That's a mole, that's a mole, divided by one. All right, for every one liter. So if you had one liter and you had 12 molar, well, that's going to be so much more concentrated. The molecules are going to be stacked in there, all right? So it's just going to be just mashed with molecules in there. And that's really it, right? So the smaller the big M, which is molarity, all right, the bigger the big M, the more you have, all right? So in instances of Kool-Aid, some of you guys like your Kool-Aid low molarity, low diluted for me i like it when the the sugar's at the bottom and i like have to spoon it out that's how much i love concentrated kool-aid a high molarity kool-aid so this is our equation that we use to solve for this all right big m molarity is moles over liters all right and we can deviate from this but this is our base okay so if i have this here okay so if you have 0.4 how i just, just want to find the concentration i just want to find big m so if I have 0.45 moles divided by one liter, okay, well, 0.45 divided by one is going to be 0 0.45 big M molar. That'd be your answer, all right? So that's what we're solving for, big M. But what if I had two molars or two liters, okay? So if I had two liters, big M would be 0 0.45 moles divided by two. Well, just before I even tell you the answer, what do you think is going to happen if I double the amount of water? Well, it's going to be more dilute. Matter of fact, it's going to be 0 0.22, uh, 225, I believe, big M. Because I, I, I basically just doubled the amount of water. I spread out the molecules more, okay? So that's how you use that equation, and that's just a way to express it. But we always express it, big M, in terms of moles per liter. That's what big M means, moles per liter, okay? So no matter what, that's our final expression is what big M is, okay? Now, we can convert a couple things, okay, to help us out because we always don't use moles in, in chemistry. We use grams a lot, all right? So we always, to solve for big M, you have to be in moles and you have to be in liters, all right? Have to be. So, if I'm given a problem where I say you get 12.9 grams of copper sulfate, well, we can do a simple molar mass conversion to figure out how many moles of copper sulfate that is. Alrighty. So if, I, if I'm given 12.9 grams of CuSO4, I have to convert it to moles to be able to use the equation. All right. And the, the molar mass... Remember, for every one mole, I just added up on the periodic table. I think I added one for your assignment. Let's see. So I would go to the periodic table.
solutions lesson. Yeah, and I just would add up Cu S and O4. Okay, and what I get is my molar mass is 159.62 for, and then I punch in my calculator, I get 0 0.8. So 159.62 grams for every one mole, I'm going to get 0 0.08. Okay, sweet. Now, so I got 0 0.08 moles, all right, and we know that it's in 0 0.1, 0 0.418 liters, okay? So go ahead, do the math quick. Let's find big M then. <laughs> and it's going to be 0.19. So the molarity of the solution is 0 0.19 big M is your final answer. Okay. So that's if you add 12.9 grams to 0 0.148 liters, you're going to get a 0.19 molar solution. All right. So we can also, okay, go from milliliters to liters. And how you do that, okay, is if I'm going from milliliters to liters, I divide by a thousand. So in this instance, you get the same problem, but it's in milliliters. Okay, well, if I'm in milliliters, right, I just divide by a thousand. If I'm going from liters to milliliters, I multiply by a thousand, all right? So this just would be 0 0.418 liters then. So I just can turn that quickly. Okay, so that's kind of how you work it, but you always have to work it in moles per liter. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so what's the concentration of a 3.2 liter solution that has 2.5 grams of sodium hydroxide? So concentration is we want to find big M, which is moles over liters. Okay, so we know this 3.2 liters. Done. I got that. I can't just put grams in there, right? I got to get it to moles. So I got to do my math. My conversion, 2.5 grams of sodium NaOH. Got to convert it to moles of NaOH. And for every one mole of NaOH, I just add it up on the periodic table. Na, O, and H, it's 40 grams. Okay, so 2.5 is 0 0.0625 moles. So I get 0 0.0625 moles of NaOH. Sweet. So now I can plug that in. Okay. So now I get to solve for molarity. So my final answer before I plug it in is going to be big M is equal to 0 0.0625 moles over. 3.2 liters. My answer is 0 0.02 if you do that in your calculator. So then it's the answer is 0 0.2 big M molar. Okay. Here's another one. So you got 200 grams of iron 2 chloride. All right, we want to find the concentration in a 450 milliliter solution. So here's what I got. I got moles over liters. Okay, moles over liters. So I have 200 grams and I got 450 milliliters. All righty. So I don't have any of these variables. We'll have to get there then. All right, so first things we can do is we can say, okay, I'm going to divide by 1,000 to get to liters. So it's going to be 0 0.50 liters. And then how many moles will it be? Well, let's figure it out. 200 grams of iron chloride. How many moles of FCL2 is that? Okay, so 200 grams. So I look it up on the periodic table, 1Fe, 2Cls. I find that the molar mass is not there. Molar mass of iron chloride, iron 2 chloride. Hmm. 
and 26.75. Okay, so I got 126.75 grams for every one mole. So 200 divided by 126. One point five eight. I got one point five eight moles. Sweet. Okay. Which makes sense because if one mole is one hundred twenty six, well, what the? So bam. Now I can plug that in. All right. So it's going to be one point five eight moles then. So one point five eight divided by four point five or point four five zero. So divided by. 4.50, is it, or is it 0.45? I think I screwed that one up, 0.45. 3.52 molar. Okay, so it's a 3.52 molar solution. All right, so once again, you just got to figure out what variable you need to solve for. If you're given grams, you have to do the molar mass conversion to moles. So we got to figure out, okay, this is the number they give me in the problem. How many moles is it? And then I can plug it in. Do they give me milliliters or liters? If it's milliliters, I got to divide by a thousand. To get there. Okay, and then we'll work on that a little bit more. Um, but all you need to do, okay, for these ones is solve for big M. Okay, so you're going to take You'll find, figure out what part of the variable, moles over liters, and you're going to be solving for big M every time. All right. Might have to go from grams to moles or milliliters to liters, but that's your base of molarity. Okay, guys, give that a rip. I'll post the answer key once I get it done.